Hi, this is TW, TW Hughes with a series on TW on SI Vlogs. And today we're going to do a little short subject on what defines a legal bedroom in New York City. And it is based on New York City building codes. And a legal bedroom in New York City has to have the following. First, a minimum of 80 square feet and a minimum ceiling height of eight feet. Now, if three or more bedrooms are in that apartment, the minimum dimension on any bedroom is seven feet, and again, ceiling height, eight feet. Point two, there must be, as noted above, there must be a minimum ceiling height of eight feet, but if it's a basement apartment, minimum ceiling height of seven feet. And if the room has a slope ceiling, at least two thirds of that room must have a ceiling height of seven feet. Item number three, there must be a window. That window must open into some space on that same property lot, whether it's a courtyard or backyard or side yard or whatever, but there must be a window. Now, in some situations, a skylight can be substituted for the window. So it is possible for a substitution. Next point, you must have two points of egress. You must have two points to get out, two points to exit, door, window. Plain and simple. And lastly, the only other point is that it, that bedroom cannot be a hallway to another room. <laughs> it's got to be its own bedroom. It can't be a flow through to another space. So those are those that would qualify as a legal bedroom in New York City. Uh, some people believe that a legal bedroom requires a closet. It does not. Closet is not required. Window, yes. Closet, no. So that's short and sweet. Hope that's been helpful. This is TW, TWNSI. Stay well.